Falls Prevention Fuel Tank. When did you last check yours? A car needs fuel in the tank to work properly. Once it empties or becomes low, the car can start to have problems and ultimately it will stop working. To prevent this, we monitor how much fuel is in the tank. If it becomes low, a warning light comes on to show that we need to take action. We don't wait for the car to run out of fuel and break down, then worry about how we're going to get fuel to fix it. We keep a check on the fuel levels and by topping the tank up regularly, we prevent a breakdown. We should think of falls prevention in the same way. Swap the car for us. We each have our own fuel tanks for preventing falls. When our tanks are full, we don't tend to have falls. But if we don't notice our tanks emptying over time, we can start to have near misses. Ultimately, if we do nothing, a fall can occur. Just like checking the fuel level on the car, we need to monitor our own fuel levels for falls prevention. However, unlike the car, we want a warning light to come on as soon as our tank starts to empty. We shouldn't wait for a fall to occur before taking action. We should top up our tanks regularly to prevent this from ever happening. To do this, we should be aware of reducing falls. Review medication. If you take medications every day, you should have an annual medication review with a doctor or pharmacist. Eyesight checks. Have regular eyesight checks, especially if any changes occur. Having lights on at home can help you see better. Decrease fear of falling. Physiotherapists and occupational therapists can practice activities to help build your confidence and teach you ways to manage anxiety. Urinary and other infections. Be aware of any changes to your bladder habits or feeling unwell. Seek treatment if this occurs. Check blood pressure. Have your blood pressure checked if you experience dizziness. Take time when getting out of bed or standing up, pausing for a moment to avoid a sudden drop in your blood pressure. Incontinence management. Incontinence can lead to infection, dehydration, loss of confidence and rushing to get to the toilet. Your local continence service can help you. Nutrition and hydration. Have a healthy, balanced diet. Plenty of fluids and limit your alcohol. If you notice weight loss, tiredness or dizziness, have a chat with your GP, as you may need to be referred to a dietitian. And if you have difficulty swallowing, a referral to speech and language therapy may be needed, as they can advise you of the safest things to eat and drink. Get active. Use it or lose it. Remaining active through exercise and taking part in activities can improve strength and balance. Avoid sitting for long periods. Feet and footwear check. Avoid overgrown toenails and check your feet regularly. Make sure shoes and slippers fit correctly, avoiding loose or damaged footwear. Aids and equipment. Walking aids can help with mobility. Other equipment can make things easier and safer at home. Check aids regularly for damage. Replace rubber ends on walking aids if the grip has worn. Let people know. Don't keep fools a secret. Make sure you let your GP know. If you have difficulties communicating, make sure you use any way possible to tell someone that you have had a fall, such as gesturing, writing or drawing. Limit unnecessary risks. 
Avoid unsafe activities that put you at risk such as going out in bad weather or doing things that you've been advised not to do. Safe environment. Remove any trip hazards such as clutter and rugs. A home safety check can be done by fire and rescue services or care and repair. Chairs need to be of correct height, width and depth for you, ideally with arms. If we can find time to check the fuel levels in our cars and take action to avoid a breakdown, we should be able to find time to check ourselves and each other, to take action to reduce the risk of falls. Stay safe.